Welcome to this Ponita Camp. We continue with the seventh chapter on user management. I remind you that you can see the whole Ponita Camp series on our YouTube channel and get the Ponita Camp exercises and resources from GitHub so you can train on your own. This chapter focuses on the actors, on the process and the organization. And we will first answer the question who can do a task? In Bonita, a set of users could be available to do a task, but we want to make sure that only one user is going to do it. In order to protect against concurrent accesses, users need to be authenticated to access the Bonita applications and those users need to be known in Bonita user database as well. Finally, Bonita comes with the notion of candidates and assignees. To better understand the difference, let's take an example. In a help desk, many employees on number space could hang on the phone to support any customer. When someone is calling, all employees can actually take the call. They are candidates to this task. But when one of the employees is going to answer it and then it won't be available for the others because the task will be assigned to him or her. Bonita Enterprise supports advanced authentication with organization systems like LDAP and Active Directory and single sign-in with providers as OpenID Connect, Kerberos, SAML 2.0 and CAS. Actors is a concept that is used to define who does what on the process side. They will be mapped to the organization, which is composed of users and their memberships, groups and roles. You can declare one or several actors in the process and they can be added directly to a task or using a lane, which will contain all the tasks made by the same actor. The process is configured to associate an actor to users in two ways directly to a set of specific users and directly using groups and roles. This is warranty actors are always up to date with the organization without creating a new version of the process. Note that actors cannot use live data. To have this ability, we use actor filters. This is not only a feature, but it will replace the actor's configuration. The actor filter procures a list of users based on input information, for example, business information or internal logic. It will be executed when the process reaches a step to which the filter is mapped and therefore needs to be refreshed using the engine API. The following table gives you a summary of benefits and limitation of actors and actor filters. In the exercises, you are going to define two actors of the process and an actor filter which is retrieving automatically the manager of the initiator of the process. Now, let's see how we can start a process instance. Even if you define several actors, only one actor can start a process instance for a specific process definition. And this actor is the one with the initiator flag. If we link this actor to a real organization, the user who will start this process instance will be registered in Bonita Engine as initiator of the instance. We understand now the management of users acting on the process. But how does that work on the application side? It works thanks to profiles. Profiles define access to the living applications to the objects and attributes of the BDM. There are three profiles by default. Two of them are available in Bonita Community Edition, User and Administrator. The third one, Process Manager, is only available in Enterprise Edition, which gives also the possibility to create custom profiles. Profiles are used in the applications and are a combination of membership in the organization and accesses to the different living applications or Bonita applications and REST APIs. 
I guess that you better understand how users are interacting with processes and applications. Now let's continue with the next chapter about extensions. And again, don't forget that you can practice with the exercises available in our repository, GitHub. Thank you 